Okay, are we all complete? We still have two minutes, two, four, five. Okay, wow, we're all early. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, my uh, my Zoom video started up okay. So uh, it's usually technical issues that, you know, sometimes happen, which, you know, you can't yeah. do much about. <laughs> well, um, yeah, it's a good thing we're here now. Well, thank you so much, Angels, for joining us as well today. Uh, we call them angels here in QBA, Charmaine. So uh, you can get your own uh, angels uh, soon. Okay, so uh, let's get okay. started. Would it be, is it okay, Charmaine, if you introduce a bit of yourself and your business background so we would know you more before we ask questions? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I could share my screen and show you some things if that helps as well. Would that be useful? Sure. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, so um, my name's Charmaine. Hello, everybody. Um, I come from Melbourne in Australia. Hey! <laughs> and um, I'm just starting a, a small business um, which provides training courses, and it could be training courses to small businesses or large organisations. And uh, the courses are created on a platform, a SCORM or an H5P platform, which is a learning management system. It's not too complicated. If you know how to use Microsoft Office, PowerPoint, Word, then you can quickly learn how to use the software. So it's quite intuitive and easy to use. Um, but what I'm looking for is someone to help me out to create some of those, those courses, so the learning courses. So... I can give you a quick look at what it might look like on a learning management system, just so you have an idea of what it looks like. Um, I'm just seeing if I can share my screen. Is that possible, Noemi? Yes, you should be able to share, uh, Charmaine. Okay. okay. So can you, can you see that screen yes. there? Awesome. So this is, this is a type of learning management system. There are lots of different, learning systems but this is the one that I've used before and this is kind of what it looks like so this is an example um this is just you know OHNS things that the course won't always be on this there'll be a range of different types of courses and it's an interactive learning system and you put information in pretty much that you want people to learn and then there are little things where you can you know click on interactive images and you can make little infographics and stuff like that and um, another one that I I have here this is the actual software um, it kind of looks like a training course so you have your information and then the learner can click through and find out the information you can add videos you can do quizzes and yeah, you can you, you can create it from start to finish. So that's that's really what it looks like. Um, so yeah, my my goal, my aim is to create training and learning courses from a range of different areas. And yeah, I'm really excited to get more courses um, sorted because there's only one two of us here. So the more people that can help us out to create some fun courses, the better. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing, uh, Charmaine. I remember you are unable to share the link uh, on the chat, right? <laughs> so no, <that> unfortunately, <laughs> when I tried to send it, it was a security problem because it's a program. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm I'm happy to share the link, and people can mm -hmm. you know download the software and and play around with it and see what they think. Um, yeah, the yeah, I'm happy to provide that if people want to have a look a little bit more. Yeah, perfect. Well, you made the right decision, definitely, Charmaine, because uh, our VAs are actually knowledgeable about doing that. And um, awesome. yeah, they can share their experience as well as their expertise in doing those uh, courses. So uh, let's have them share their uh, selves as well, uh, a bit, a little bit of their selves and their experience. So we can start first with uh, Nika. Thank you, Cece. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Hello, Charmaine. Nice meeting you. <laughs> uh, my name is Veronica. You can call me Nika. Um, I've been with QVA for about less than a year. Um, 
Uh, my experiences include um, being a team lead for about five years in a BPO industry or the mm -hmm. call center. So um, I was tasked, I was actually um, experienced when it comes to um, creating training materials um, for the, um, collaborating with the quality team, training team about uh, the training materials that we need to use um, for the um, purpose of updating the agents um, or the employees, um, upskilling them, and also conducting refresher trainings. Um, my previous client also um, is um, one of the um, PTSD coach. So I was transferring or creating, helping her create the training modules, uh, workbooks, ebooks, infographics that can be included on the training materials, uh, video references, uh, making sure all the spellings, helping her transcribe um, from the YouTube videos over to um, creating a whole new training materials, uh, making sure that everything is copyrighted, all the logos, all of the designs, which is done being, which is being done in Canva. So, um, there you go. I am also an administrative or an executive assistant before for the credit and collections management for about four years, um, where I am tasked to, um, you know, help the management or um, the credit and collections supervisor or manager to, um, regarding the uh, meetings, um, collecting checks, um, account uh, managing account receivables, um, normal administrative stuffs. So um, I am confident that I can be able to help you out, um, fulfill the, you know, um, the tasks that you have, especially with training materials um, related to science um, and also um, coaching materials. Awesome, thank you, sounds good. Thank you, Mika. Well, if you have questions uh, along the way, Charmaine, feel free to ask them, okay? Okay, sounds good. Now, I think um, the main things were just um, experience with Microsoft Office or Microsoft Suite. Um, I had some questions around, yeah, how you would create infographics, um, where you would get images from so that they, you know, weren't breaching copyright, that sort of thing. Right, that's very important. Um, mm -hmm. There are actually sites, uh, royalty sites, as they call, uh, yeah. where you can grab uh, pictures, um, and also if in case that we're going to use, say, for example, from a previous client, she actually used an infographic from Pete Walker. Um, she told me that she just have to make sure that we are giving the right credits to that, um, you know, to that specific coach or to that oh. specific person. Um, and also, um, we can actually uh, use also um, Google, just giving the right credits, um, creating, we can actually also create images in Canva as well, and then embed it over to uh, Microsoft. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Susnika. Let's uh, go with uh, Charlene. Hi there, Charmaine. Oh, we have the same name. <laughs> Pronunciation, <laughs> yeah, it's very confusing sometimes. So welcome aboard. I am Charlene Villa Caminade. I took up a bachelor of degree in secondary education with major in mathematics. So for my experience, uh, I work as a virtual assistant for over a year, and also I am a social media person where I manage social media accounts, for example, the Facebook, uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, YouTube, and as well for TikTok. So um, my task is that I am engaging more on engaging a uh, person or uh, uh, people in uh, to comments and as well as in generating leads. So for my experience in uh, graphic designs, uh, I utilize Canva for uh, editing some posts uh, using graphic designs in any platforms, for example, in the infographics and uh, create uh, presentations, uh, short video clips, and as well as creating platforms, res resumes, so that the uh, images or your presentation, it looks elegant and sophisticated for the viewers as well. And then with my capabilities, uh, I possess an immense uh, talent to process 
any complex task or uh, design concepts uh, to create a unique visual solutions uh, for you, for me to help you uh, help you improve your uh, learning modules and your training uh, materials in in no time. So I can also utilize uh, Microsoft in creating as well uh, presentations uh, and documents uh, with that with that help with the help of AI tools as well. For example, the Chat GPT as well as in the Google. Um, if you know some AI tools, for example, the Janai AI, uh, the Grammarly, uh, the Bing, Bing Blog, it, it is the extension, more on extension of the Microsoft Bing uh, that could help uh, creating, uh, from what you have shared earlier, the Moodle, um, I, have, I have an experience in utilizing Moodle as well. So uh, for me, as an education student, uh, I, I'm from as... As a graduate in education, I I have an experience in uh, utilizing and creating uh, activities or um, utilizing the Moodle account where the uh, students can learn and you have uh, many references in there, and then you can you could create activities as well in there. And then going back to your Facebook profile, I could see that. It is not well optimized, so there is a little much suggestion. A little little suggestion for that. You know, first, we could attract and engage more people, or we could create your. Uh, we could create a, a Facebook page for you to funnel uh, leads or uh, uh, maximize your leads in the future, so that there are many. Uh, you could you could. Uh, engage or interact more leads in the future. So when we generate leads, uh, we must first uh, create enticing contents that engage that includes engaging posts. Uh, that then we could create posts and also share stories that will attract the right target market for your focus. And then for me, I am willing to lend, lend my hand to help you in your business to grow and that provides a real time response and that provides real time response and insights as i continuously learn and adapt to improve my abilities in that uh, i could i will explore some boundless possi possibilities uh, uh, templates in graphic designs that could uh, hold that could future that the future will hold if we could work together in the future so and that would be all. Thank you. Thank you. I had a, a question for you. Um, you you've done education. So when when you're creating some education information, how would you what would you do to make sure you weren't plagiarizing or taking other people's information? What how would you um, just make sure? All right. So with that, um, there are AI tools that could help you. I did plagiarize the work of others. Uh, I could, uh, I could utilize or I could use the Killboot paraphrasing tool, and then I could, um, oh, I'll forgive me to say that. I could check there if my work is played, play, uh, is, uh, is done by anyone, and mm -hmm. <laughs> we could uh, that could check if my work is plagiarized or not, and then yeah. for that. Uh, it is uh, it is not plagiarizing plagiarism if we could mm -hmm. use any ideas from others, but we could uh, integrate new knowledge from them. We could not say that we could uh, um, get their information word for word. We could not use that because that is actually a plagiarizing uh, act. Mm. Oh, awesome! Thank you. Thanks, Sean. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, let's go with Jenny. Jenny Rose. Hi. Hi, Charmaine. Hello, everyone. To start, I am Gina Rose Trudivias Rado, a graduate of Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Social Studies. I have experience in BPO company for a year where I call and respond to the queries of my clients, and I switch 
as a virtual assistant that was only for six months. Um, Shireen, I read your conversation with Miss Noemi in our group chat. And as what I have seen, you're looking for someone who can create a general induction and training courses. Um, so creating a course based on learning outcomes and filling the information. So as a education major, um, I have experience creating a course based on learning outcomes because that is our goal, especially in teaching our students. So aside from that, I have seen that you want a virtual assistant who is proficient in Microsoft and Google, does not plagiarize, and has an eye on how to make anything appear attractive which fits me because I have extensive knowledge in Microsoft products like um, Word, PowerPoint presentation, Excel, and any more. Um, having used, I use this um, um, Microsoft products um, since I was still a student up until now. So I am adept in utilizing Google as a research tool, enabling me to gather relevant and up-to-date um, information to supplement the course content. I use um, AI technologies like Killboot, um, Grammarly, Turnitin, and Unicheck to determine whether or not my work was plagiarized. So um, I also searched for your Facebook account. Um, I was genuinely moved by your charitable in divorce. I saw that you are um, participating in different fundraiser, uh, fundraisers, uh, fundraisers act activities, and it demonstrates your real commitment to improving the lives of others. Um, uh, that would be all. Uh, I look forward uh, to the opportunity to collaborate with you and embark on a journey of creating outstanding induction and training courses that meet your organizations or your objectives. Thank you. Thanks so much, Vinny. Very cool. Thank you. Your turn, friends. Donna. Hi, Charmaine. Hi, Charmaine. I am friends. Uh -huh. I um, I took up bachelor of secondary education as well. Uh, um, I am graduated as an education a teacher, and I I used to um uh, manipulate um um some Moodles um like them, and I um I am a social social media enthusiast, and I love scrolling Facebook, and I have an experience as a virtual assistant for almost a six months, and so. My social media includes marketing as well as um generating um some uh what Moodles like that and some Microsoft um Microsoft yes and um which is I also manage my clients different um social media accounts such as LinkedIn their Facebook and Instagram the Twitter TikTok and YouTube, and as well as engaging, respons responding to comments, generating leads, and setting appointments via DM and phone. I am a social media manager. I stayed versed in SMM yeah. tools like Canva, Cut, cut, cut um, picks art, and I learned practice social media management with my previous client. And I learned fundamentals of marketing, um, graphic design, and content writing. So that's it, Charmaine. Awesome. Thank you, friends. Uh, how about you? you. Uh, May, May Ann. Hi, Charmaine. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. How about you? Oh, I'm very good too. So, by the way, my name is Mayan Abiharan. I have a, a solid background in customer service, having worked in the field for over a year, which I gained an extensive knowledge of various social media platforms, including on um, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Instagram, and TikTok. So, throughout my experience, I have successfully interacted with diverse range of clients and honing my communication and problem solving. 
coding skills. So by the way, just like Miss Genero Strado, I have read your chat and that you needed someone who is familiar in creating course outline and filling in the information. So worry no more because in addition to my customer service expertise, I hold a degree in education, which has equipped me with the ability to design courses based on specific learning outcomes and organize information effectively and thoroughly. So by understanding um, the unique needs and goals of your um, business, I can create engaging and effective training programs that is aligned with your objectives. So I am well versed in using Microsoft Word because um, like literally every day I use Microsoft because I am part or I have an account in Course Hero. So wherein I upload um, documents there and I also uh, I am also um, well versed in using PowerPoint presentations and Excel enabling me to handle various administrative tasks um, efficiently. So moreover, I possess a knack for research and utilize engines um, like Google, specifically Grammarly, Killboat, Pixabay, wherein you've asked a while ago that um, where we can find um, pictures that would not um, accuse us for plagiarism. Pixabay is one of the greatest um, site that we can get pictures from without any plagiarism. So I have also um, an experience in um, Moodle account uh, in Moodle and is willing, of course, to explore more. I am very willing. So furthermore, I am very proficient in graphic design and photo editing using tools such as Canva. So that is what I am very most familiar with. So if you require a virtual assistant who can create visually um, appealing graphics or enhance images that can still be aligned with your cor course outline, um, I am the perfect fit for the job. So I have stalked you on Facebook, just like my co-angels. And I really admire your generosity when it comes to charity. So it is very inspiring, um, which made me uh, more determined to help you. So with my extensive customer service background, educational expertise, um, proficiency in essential software and creative skills in graphic design, I am very much confident that I can bring immense value to your team. So I am enthusiastic about the opportunity to contribute to, to contribute my talents and dedication to your business. That's all. Thank you, Charmaine. Thank you, Megan. Awesome. Thank you, lovely angels. Um, yeah, uh, may I ask Charmaine if you have uh, more questions for them, please? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, just I've just been typing away, just uh, learning more about all of you. You're very You've all got really awesome education backgrounds and it sounds like you've got some really good experience in a lot of those spaces that would be so useful for me. So, um, no, I think I asked the questions I wanted to and everyone, yeah, gave me some really good information about themselves. So it's going to be hard. <laughs> okay, no worries. Well, uh, I wonder if our angels have a question for you before we wrap up the poll. Anyone have a yeah. question for Charmaine? So far, I have none. All good. We've actually stopped your profile already. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I don't. I don't have any social media yet set up for the the buying courses organization. So that's something that will come a little bit further down the track as well. Um, I just want to have a, a nice number of courses set up and the website ready to go. And then we'll start the social media side of things. So um, it's probably not not a lot to stalk on my Facebook, but I'm hoping, yeah, to to have some help later down the track when you know setting up a Facebook, Instagram, or you know TikTok if we want to, those sorts of things to to then start selling courses. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so it seems that our VA uh, doesn't have questions. Well, uh, the next step, Charmaine, is, uh, of course, for you to decide uh, he, uh, who is the lucky VA for, for today. I wonder if you are able to tell us now, would you like to sleep on it before you decide? I think I need to, yeah, I need to read through my notes and, and have a think about it because, there, yeah, you're all, you've got great education, you've got great experience, so um yeah, I'm just going to have to have a look through my notes and have a think about it. Is that okay, Noemi? 
Yes, for sure. And uh, would you like as well a copy of this recording so you can review the interview? There. Yeah, that would be great. Um, yeah. I may have missed. I was too interested and I forgot to write some notes sometimes. Uh -huh. So, yeah, if I could have the recording, I can run through it. That would be great. All right. Perfect. I'll send it your way. And as soon as awesome. you uh, decided, Charmaine, feel free to tag the name of the VA on the chat, please. And then okay. from there, we will go ahead and schedule our onboarding call, okay? Amazing. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, everyone, for taking the time out. It was really lovely to meet all of you. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, we'll talk very soon. Yeah. Thank you so thank much, Charmaine. You. Thank you, thank Angel. You so much, thank, thank you so much, everyone. Bye for now. Thank you. Thanks. Bye, all.